Hey guys, welcome back to Zindi.com. I just want to do a video to show you how to actually sublimate on our acrylics. So if you're familiar with Zindi, we have a ton, a ton of acrylic blanks. Also, the amazing thing is we only use the best material and all of our acrylics are cast acrylic. So that means that they can actually accept sublimation inks. So let's back up a little bit. Say you're brand new to sublimation, have no idea what it is. Basically, it's a special ink printed on a special paper, and then you heat press it onto an item, and it permanently dyes that item. There are certain materials that will accept sublim sublimation ink, and there are certain materials that won't. Polyester is one of the most known as far as what is a good thing to press sublimation onto. But another thing that accepts sublimation ink very well is cast acrylics. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So every acrylic on the Zindi.com website is cast acrylic. So any of them you see there, you can sublimate, as long as it's not the black ones. The black ones are already black, and basically you're dyeing it, and so you can't dye it lighter. You can only dye it darker. Okay, so let me show you some examples. This is sublimation on a white acrylic. This is sublimation on a clear acrylic. This is sublimation on a clear acrylic with um, white vinyl on the back. Okay, so one thing to know about sublimation or sublimation inks is that the inks are actually transparent. So when you put it on a clear item, such as this, you'll be able to see through it. So you have some options. The nice thing about it being transparent is you can put glitter on the back and it'll sparkle through, or you can put white vinyl on the back to make it really bold and vivid, or you can keep it like this and have kind of like a stained glass look. Okay. So, what do you need to get started? You need a way to press the acrylics. An easy press will work, but an easy press two or is better because it gets hot enough. If it doesn't get hot enough, you won't get full ink transfer and it won't be as bright and bold as it can be. So heat press is best or an easy press. You need it to be at least 385 degrees Fahrenheit. So 385 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees is ideal and you're gonna press it for 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do it really quick um, with a clear acrylic, and then I already pressed a ton of them, and I'm gonna show you some different options and different looks that you can get. Okay, so here is our sublimation. So you'll need your sublimation, you'll need your cast acrylic, you will need some way to press it, and then uh, you wanna have butcher paper and then Teflon sheet, and then a bowl of hot soapy water, because when you press it, the paper will stick to it, and you need to clean that off. Also something heavy to put on the acrylic after you press it. Okay, oh, and heat tape. You want heat tape. That will make your life much easier. Okay, so here's our uh, sublimation. And it is reversed, but I don't have to reverse it because the acrylic is clear. You can put it on either side. Normally you always um, mirror sublimation. Okay, so here is our sublimation. Here's our acrylic. You wanna take the backing paper off the front and the back. You can leave it on the back, but I don't recommend it. A lot of times when you're pressing, the paper will start to crinkle and the acrylic does get a little soft when it's heated. And sometimes you'll see those lines from the paper crinkling. So it's better to um, remove backing on both the front and the back. Okay, and all we're gonna do is line that up to our image. And then we're gonna take our heat tape which I have this heat tape in our Amazon uh, affiliate recommendations list. So if you're looking for some, you can find that in the link below the video. And all we're doing is just taping it in place so it doesn't move around whenever um, we're pressing. Okay, so here you go. We have our image lined up, ready to go. And you will notice with sublimation, the images are gonna be kind of muted before you press them. After you press them, the heat is actually what makes it go to full color. The blues and stuff look really weird usually. Okay, so we're gonna put this in a little envelope of butcher paper, and we're gonna put the acrylic down and the print side up so it gets most of the heat. And again, we're gonna do 60 seconds at 400 degrees, and you don't need a lot of pressure. Media, I mean, a light to medium pressure is totally fine. So we're gonna go ahead and press this, and then um, whenever it's done, we're gonna put it under something heavy while it cools, put it in our soapy water to get any paper off, and then from there, I'll show you the different options we can do to finish it. So we'll let that finish pressing. 
All right, so that's been one minute. Be careful, it's gonna be very, very hot. We're gonna take our little envelope and then we're gonna take something heavy and put on it. This is actually just a heat flatten from another heat press I have, but it works really well. It's nice and heavy and the heat doesn't bother it. So we're gonna let that cool off. And then whenever that's done, you're gonna notice that the paper's gonna stick to it, which is normal. Like, um, see this is one in water right now. I'll try to get it where it doesn't drip. Um, it has some paper stuck to it. So I'm just letting that uh, get soft so I can wipe it off. Um, also, I'm always super impatient. So I like to use a magic eraser and just rub it off real quick. Um, I rather that than waiting for it to soak and come off. All right, this is probably about done. It doesn't have to cool for long, just a little bit so that it doesn't, um, so that it stays flat. Okay, yeah, perfect. All right, so you see the colors are a lot brighter now that it's been pressed. And now we're going to take any extra paper off that we can get off. And like I said, it's totally normal for the paper to stick to it. All right, see the paper sticking to it? We're gonna just put that in water um, and I'm gonna go clean those off real quick and then I will be right back to show y'all the next steps. All right guys, so we have our acrylics. They've already been pressed with sublimation. I already cleaned them off. I'm gonna show you some different examples of how they came out. Okay, so for instance, this is a white acrylic with a leopard print on it. This is a clear acrylic but it actually has transparent glitter vinyl on the back so you can see the glitter through. So to kind of give you an idea of the difference, white and clear, both of these sublimated. Another one is the Love Acrylic. This is the one I showed you earlier, but I added transparent glitter vinyl on the back so you can see that. This is one that just sublimated, clear, Love, and then here are two that were sublimated on the front and we added white vinyl to the back. This is kind of my favorite, I think this is my favorite way to do them, is either the white vinyl on the back or directly onto white acrylic. It just gives a really nice finish. So here's those, white vinyl on the back. And then we have this one, which is the Tired as a Mother, the same as this one. But this one is on clear acrylic and we put holographic adhesive glitter on the back. So I hope that answers some questions on how to sublimate the acrylics. Uh, one thing to be aware of is if you're doing like a small image, um, like I have one I can show you what I'm talking about, like this one. This one, the image was cut smaller than the actual acrylic. And if you look close, you can kind of see a square of where it was sublimated where the paper was. So it's a good idea to make the image bigger than your acrylic. So it just makes it uniform, nice and neat. Um, like this one was done correctly with the paper covering the whole thing and you don't see any of those marks or anything like that. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time.